Thank you very much, Roz. Well, more children than ever are calling the Kids Helpline to seek assistance from their counsellors. The spike in calls has led the charity to launch an annual fundraising appeal to raise money for new staff. And Kids Helpline Ambassador Therese Kerr is here to tell us more. Morning to you. Lovely Hi. to see you. Lovely to be here. Just, just to elaborate, if you could, about the spike. More and more kids are looking for assistance, aren't they? They are. There's, um, the Kids Helpline organisation is receiving constant calls and a lot of the matters that are really relating to children now are family issues and Child Help International Help Day is all about uh, bringing awareness to these organisations but in bringing awareness we need to also create the funding to support the service. Because real funding is needed, of course, for the, the counsellors at the other end of the phone. Yeah, we need frontline counsellors to be able to assist and to take the calls of our children. On average, 32 children call Kids Helpline a day in Australia with youth, youth suicide related matters. And um, in the last five years, there's been 7 million contacts made to Kids Helpline from our children. Gosh. That's a, an alarming statistic, isn't it? It is. It's amazing. You're passionate about this, aren't you? I'm really passionate. I've mm -hmm. been involved with Kids Helpline for five years. Uh, we chose Kids Helpline because every child in Australia has access to this service 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's the only service that's available for that amount of time every day that our child needs it. So what is the fundraising goal? Um, to raise 150000 but I want to lift the bar on that. I believe that we should really just get behind this organisation because of the support that they give our children. You never know when your child is going to need Kids Helpline. Most of the calls are made to Kids Helpline with parents not even knowing. Mm, and I guess the anonymity is, is such a bonus for kids, isn't it? Because often they don't necessarily want to reveal who they are, yeah. where they come from. That's exactly right. And also they don't want to worry their parents. So they call and they've got somebody to speak to. Um, you know, 46 times a day, each day, a child contacts Kids Helpline in relation to a self-harm matter. Mm. And it's all about bringing awareness but creating the funding and before the 30th of June let's get in and support Kids Helpline make a tax deductible donation this service is there for our kids perfectly put thank you so much for your time this morning Therese we really appreciate it thank you yeah very well said